Hello and welcome to this episode of the LNUR Branch Line. I'm Richard from LNUR, the LEGO Train Club, and we're just going to take a couple of minutes to talk through uh, something we mentioned in the previous episode of the LNUR line, um, which was the LEGO Train Club's Worldwide Initiative. Um, and we're going to take a couple of minutes just to talk through what we're going to do with that and um, how it might work. Um, so the aims of the group are to try and coordinate LEGO train clubs um, from around the world into sharing uh, membership bricks or friendship bricks um, or wagons, a little bit like our private owner wagons, um, or a, uh, container, a standardized container design, um, which is hopefully going to be fairly interchangeable between LEGO clubs building around the world. Uh, we've already got some members from Brick Model Railroader, from Arklug in the US, uh, from our friends in Denmark, Todd Clodson, uh, and a couple more. And um, we're hoping to um, attract some more interest from uh, clubs to do an initial swap of something. Uh, we're not quite sure what yet. Um, the, uh, the I guess the reasons for doing it are we know from the Brick Train Awards that there is um, quite a good uh, community of LEGO train fans worldwide. Um, and we thought it'd be a bit of fun while LEGO events are off. Um, they certainly will be in this country until uh, well into 2021, I would imagine, um, due to uh, the coronavirus. We thought it would just be a bit of fun to um, you know, swap some wagons or swap some Lego and um, maybe make some new friends who love Lego trains as much as us as well. Uh, so we're still working out the details of how this might work. Um, we think um, it's going to work initially at a club level rather than individually, but we're still open to um, ideas and we're still discussing that within the group. Um, and there are a couple of different ways we see this working potentially. Um, the first idea was to um, swap a wagon um, specific to their club or the region they're from, um, a bit like the LNUR private owner wagons. Um, the second um, idea, and it, this all depends on cost because those wagons um, are probably with the printing about 45, 50 pounds to build, so they're not particularly cheap. Um, whereas our membership bricks usually cost sort of a, a couple of pounds to print, um, so we can swap with more clubs that way. Um, so we could swap a membership brick or a sort of friendship brick uh, between clubs. Uh, and one of the Aussie guys, I can't remember who, um, suggested what about swapping containers, which I think has already been done certain bet certainly between the American clubs. Um, so we're looking at that as an option as well, because that might be um, a more standardized way of sharing between the clubs without them having to have their own wagon designs. Um, so membership of the Lego Train Clubs Worldwide group, uh, which is on Facebook, is currently open to um, founders and committee members. So anybody uh, involved in organizing or running their Lego Train Club. Um, and we'll put a link into the description for that. You can just request to join the Facebook group and um, we'll, uh, we'll sort of vet you and um, let you in. And hopefully we can have something organized either a little bit later this year or um, maybe early 2021. So thanks for listening and we'll hope to see you soon on another LNUR line podcast.